since High Tide is such a popular company, I'm gonna make every video. Every I'm gonna make a video on every single news press release that gets released on this company. And recently, there was fraudulent use of Grass City's website, uh, according to this press release. Uh, so basically, some company registered in China has fraudulently copied the website associated with our wholly owned subsidiary, Grass City. We are taking issues seriously and are exploring all appropriate legal actions. In the meantime, we urge our loyal customer to be vigilant and ensure that they only visit High Tide's legit, legitimate e-commerce platform Grass City and CBD City when making purchases related to consumption accessory and hemp derived CBD products. Uh, so yeah, China copied the thing, but I, I mean this press release is, you know, also maybe a little helping them with their sales because, uh, you know, you could be like, oh, well, you know, watch this press release and then you'd be like, oh, let's go buy something from High Tide and support the company. Um, so yeah, you can buy a J inside Bob Mini Breaker Bong, Grass City Limited Edition. Large glass steamroller pipe. Yep. So yeah, you know, if you want to support the company, and if you buy more than fifty dollars worth of product, they give you a free delivery. So more sales to them. You get free delivery. Everybody needs accessories, especially if you're MJ user, G and Zhang. Man, I can't believe that they're selling a little pipe. For twenty dollars and sixty nine cents, that's that's crazy. Uh, wow, this thing is like twenty sixteen ninety eight. Well, they gotta make their profit somehow, make their money somehow. So, Jin Jong stuff is expensive. Jin Jong up in smoke. Jin Silent Bob stuff is a little cheaper, but uh, yeah, like if you want to support the company, you know, buy stuff from them, and uh, because we are right now in the quarter where they said sales in the US are exploding and you know this is February, March, April and 420 is usually a, a really good weekend for them so I'm expecting the earnings uh, not the next one that they release but the one after that I expect it to be really awesome and I'm expecting the stock price to explode uh, from from that point, but right now it's all about finding the best position to put yourself in in high tide stock Don't know how well how much the stock price was gonna drop, but uh, the stock price had a big dip today and It got bought up and now it's sitting at 69 cents. I still think there's going to be more volatility moving forward but you know that's just my opinion uh, maybe maybe this is the bottom right here the 63 cents and It's going to continue to move up from here. I am still a shareholder, right? I told you guys that I'm going to bag hold this Even if this thing drops all the way down to like 20 cents. I don't care I am going to hold this one long term Even if I lose all my profit and I will only add to my position moving forward. So you know that's just my plan. Don't care if I lose money on this because I've already made my money on this and right now it's just betting on house money and I will only add to my position. So, and I, be I still believe in this company long term, short term opportunities. That's just my opinion, right? The whole MJ sector is acting up right now and high tide is just part of the MJ sector. So, if the MJ sector goes down, high tide will go down with it. Tat. Had a trading halt today. I rock trading halt res uh, of TAT that was issued an hour ago. I'm hoping that we hear some kind of big news from TAT when the market closes. That's my hope. I don't know. We'll see. SOS today, uh, you know, it uh, crashed really bad to 5.30 and then it got bought up and now it's Trading at 620, 616. 
Uh, it's funny because if you look at you know companies like Marat, it feels like it was the same thing. It dipped really bad and then it got bought up and now it's you know tr it's not exactly the same, but it's very very similar from a charting perspective. Hut is the same thing. It crashed really hard and then it got bought up and now it's starting to fall again. Uh, Bit Farms, same thing. You know, all these stocks seem the same thing. High Tide feels the the chart of High Tide feels the same as, you know, Hot and Solo and Merit, which is kind of strange because they are totally different companies. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just like some robots and institutional investors just they control the stock the stock price and we have no say in where the price moves, but. Uh, that's just my opinion. We'll see where that goes. Uh, CCIV feels like the same thing, right? It crashed really bad and then it bounced back and now it's starting to fall again. Uh, GTAC is just been holding. GTAC's the only one that's different. It's the one that is just it's holding its ground, not really moving too much. GameStop is shocking to me. It's shocking to me. It's like I'm surprised that it's like up while the rest of the market is like red. Tesla. Is bouncing back, uh, so it's a good sign, I guess. Uh, blink, uh, blink charging, blink charging down a dollar seventy nine. Planet Planeteer is down a dollar seventy seven. Sundial Growers, Sundial Growers is down one dollar. It, it went all the way down to one uh, ninety four cents, and I I did mention a while ago that I think that this stock's heading back to a dollar. And it broke that and it got bought up. So if you bought that bottom, you would have made 15% return on investment. Uh, CFII, this thing is a turd. I did get rid of some of my position in CFII. I did not expect this thing to go all the way down to 816. That is a shocker to me. I guess even SPACs can go below the $10 bre limit breaker. Uh, I thought it wouldn't go... I, I didn't really think it would go down to 816. This thing can go down to 5 bucks. I have no idea. We'll see what happens. I wonder what Clove is doing. Clove is down a little bit. Wow, it went all the way down to $6.45. Woo, that's crazy. Uh, CPS, CPSH, that thing also went down massively. But it's bouncing back. Feels like all the charts are like the same. They all like crashed at the same time and then they all bounce back at the same time, which is kind of weird. It's very weird. I thought, you know, it's just like it didn't matter, it doesn't really matter what you trade. They all are doing the same exact same thing. It's like the, like, some big money entity is controlling the market and, you know, it just moves it as it wants. So. Yeah, that's just T gift today is down half a penny. Uh, v E G N is down three cents. Anyways, that's really all I have to say in my video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.